Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Schmidt Side Hustles. My name's Anna. And my name's Caleb. We're a married couple that makes videos about making money and saving money. So if you like making money, hit subscribe. Today we're going to talk to you guys about 10 things you need to look for to resell when you go thrifting. We've broken these into three different categories. Technology, shoes, and clothing. First, let's talk about technology, different electronics. So one of the first things to always look out for is graphing calculators. There's so many different kinds. Texas Instruments has a lot. Usually, if you can pick it up for a couple bucks at a garage sale or maybe even a thrift store, um, definitely get it uh, and look it up. Um, a lot of them can go for $30. If it's in good condition and a newer model, I mean, it can easily bring in $50. Yeah. So, I mean, turning five bucks into 50 bucks, I would do that any day of the week. <laughs> it's definitely a good find. And this is something you might even have around the house, surprisingly. You might never know. I had one laying around the house from high school. I don't know why I kept it for so long. Um, but your kid may even have one. So if they don't need it, then try selling it. Even if they need it, just take it from them. <laughs> Gotta make money. We actually picked up this graphing calculator. It was bright pink, so I loved it. Um, we got it at a garage sale for $1 and sold it for $35 on eBay within about a week. So yeah, I'm pretty, pretty quickly. sure it sold in a week. The next thing that we suggest looking for, you'll actually never believe, but Caleb? Broken electronics. <laughs> Typically, you can get them at garage sales super cheap. Um, and believe it or not, on eBay, you can sell a lot of broken electronics as used for parts, not working condition. At a garage sale recently, I got a iPod shuffle for $1, took it home, was hoping that it worked. It didn't work. But I saw on eBay that I could still sell it and I sold it within a couple days for $10. So I turned $1 into $10 and it didn't even work. Recently, also, I got a Nintendo 3DS for $15. The top screen didn't really work too well, but I was able to sell it for, I believe, $115 in just a couple of days. So definitely keep an eye out for broken electronics. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, if it's shredded to pieces and super rusty, That's maybe good. don't get it, yeah. but they can usually turn out pretty good. So keep your eyes You'd be peeled. Surprised. A lot of people will pass them up. So that's when you come in and you get those deals. Yeah. I also got these PS3 3D glasses. I got them for $3, took them home, tried to charge them and they wouldn't work. I looked them up on eBay, couldn't find any that were selling just for parts. So I listed it for $10 and I sold it within two days. Yeah, so it's crazy how you can sell almost anything on eBay, even something that's broken, people want. Another phenomenal technology item is VHS slash DVD players. People really want these because they don't make them anymore. And recently I bought one for $5 at a garage sale. And within a couple of days, I sold it for $90 plus shipping on eBay. They can be kind of a pain to ship because they're really heavy. What I did with mine is I shipped it USPS ground. It took about 10 or 11 days to get to the customer, but they were okay with that. And I turned $5 into $90, especially if the VHS DVD combo comes with the remote. That's super rare. So that's when you can charge that high priced for it. Okay, so another thing to be looking for at the thrift store is printer ink and toner. This is something that actually sells really well and it can even be expired, believe it or not. We recently just found some at the thrift store that was expired and sold it pretty quickly. Yeah, we paid $1 for it. It expired in 2019 and somebody still bought it for $15 plus shipping. Another category of things that we look for when garage selling and thrifting are shoes. Now this is one of the main things that we get because they're so easy to find and they can often sell really well and ship pretty easily. Yeah, so before we actually jump into shoes, let me tell you what to look for. So right now I have two pairs of shoes 
And one of the things we want to look for is wear on the bottom of the shoes. You can see right here, it is very worn out. These would not sell well at all. You want something like this. It uh, still has all the grooves in it. There's no significant wear. And another thing to look out for is the back of the shoes on the heels. See how there's no tearing or anything right here? That is a big red flag if there's tearing. Nobody's going to want to buy that. So if it looks like this, you better stay away from those. <laughs> and the final thing to look out for is the front of the mm -hmm. shoes. Mm -hmm. Right here, a lot of times, if you can see that on the camera, this piece will actually be hanging down. It's where the glue starts coming apart from the front of the shoe. If that's happening, just pass over it. You'll find another pair of shoes, I promise you. Mm -hmm. Dirt on the shoes, you can clean that up. I'll put a link down below to a great shoe cleaner that I use, and I'm sure you will have phenomenal luck getting stains or dirt or anything out of your shoes with that link. Yeah, Caleb is the shoe cleaning pro. He gets it all set up in our kitchen sink and like has shoes and the scrubbing magic erasers. Um, he's really good at it. Yeah, I do it all in the kitchen. So if we ever offer to make you anything, <laughs> don't buy it because there's a really good chance it was made on the same kitchen counter that I cleaned the shoes on. Yeah, he recently told me this, that he would put the shoes on the counter where I would be like making dinner. He's like, oh, I put dirty shoes on there. And I was like, okay, well, maybe we can just put the shoes on the floor. Not. There's nothing <laughs> not wrong the with the little dirt. It'll boost your immune system. Oh my gosh. The first brand to look out for is Skechers. Like I just showed you, you want to check to make sure that there's not a significant amount of wear. Preferably that there's nowhere at all. These don't sell for a ton of money, but they're something that sell very consistently. Skechers typically go for around $20 to $30 used plus shipping. So if I can pick them up for $5 or $6, I'm going to do that all day long. <laughs> Another brand to look for is Nike. Now you do have to be careful with Nike because not just any Nike will sell, but if it's in good condition, a lot of times that they can sell for at least 20 to $25. So I actually just picked up these Nike Zoom tennis shoes at the thrift store yesterday for $5 and they'll probably sell for like $25. So this is a good bread and butter item. You find a lot of them at the store and they can often do, you know, pretty decent. And then some do sell for more, like we just sold some Nikes for about $47. Nike React. Mm -hmm. Nike React. Like she said, there's a lot of Nikes for sale on eBay. So the market is very saturated. So you wanna be very particular about what you pick up. What I look for is I look for vintage Nikes. Um, Nikes before 2010, I classify them as vintage. They can sell for quite a bit of money, but between like 2010 and 2019, they might not sell for as much money as you would like. The newer ones from 2019 and up, you can definitely get and they'll sell decently quick. I mean, as long as you price them correctly, mm -hmm. I can usually sell them between $20 and $30 plus shipping. And so typically I pick them up for $6, sell them for $20, $30, and I'll do that every day of the week. With Nikes or really any pair of shoes, the bigger the size typically means bigger the money. People who have big feet, I'm talking size 13, 14, and up, they have to shop online for those shoes because they can't find them in stores. So like that Nike React that's right here, they're size 14, and I picked them up for $5 at a thrift store because I guess the thrift store thought nobody had feet big enough for them. And I sold them super fast on eBay for $47. We also sold some Torrid shoes. I can't even remember the size, but they were really big and they sold so quickly. So Torrid is a brand of shoes for bigger women, taller women. People who like them really like them. So if you can find Torrid brand shoes, especially ones that are in almost new condition, definitely go ahead and pick those up. Another pair of shoes to look out for is Brooks Running Shoes. Now with these shoes, it is super important to look at the wear on the shoes. 
People use them for running. I mean, they're called Brooks running shoes, <laughs> believe it or not. So definitely check the wear on these. <laughs> If they're super worn down, don't get them. Mm -hmm. And definitely sure. look at sold comps for them. A lot of the newer Brooks can sell for $30, $40, even $50. Mm -hmm. But if you find an old pair of Brooks, chances are people don't want them anymore. Mm -hmm. And so they're not going to go for the amount of money that you're hoping to get for them. The next group of items to look for is clothing. And I don't know much about clothing. My fashion sense is awful. My wife does all of my clothes shopping. If it was up to me, I would just be wearing gray t-shirts all day long. So I'll let lying. you take it over. <laughs> okay, so the first brand that I look for is Free People. Now, Free People sells pretty consistently for me. I have found a lot of Free People over the years and sold a lot of it on my Poshmark throughout the past few years. So something to look for are sweaters, also dresses and pants. They sell pretty well if they are Free People and even some of the smaller things like t-shirts and hats. So if you see any of those, definitely pick them up because for me, I found they sell pretty consistently. Here are a few of the things that I have sold that are free people over the years. So I got this mint sweater at a garage sale for a dollar. I got this gray sweater at a garage sale for a dollar. And then these red striped pants at a garage sale also for a dollar. So I have hit it big on free people at the garage sale. So if you are a garage sale person, definitely keep an eye out. Another clothing brand or type of clothing brand that I look for are influencer clothing brands. So random different influencer clothing brands can actually sell for quite a bit and really quickly. I picked up this Fletch jumpsuit for a couple bucks at Salvation Army and sold it within hours for $45. So that was a huge sale. I was like, wow, I had no idea, but definitely keep an eye out for um, different influencers or famous people's brands. This was Jojo Fletcher. She was the bachelorette on that ABC show and she created her own brand of clothing and people love it now. So definitely keep an eye out for those types of things. So the last clothing brand that I'm going to share with you guys today is Anthropology. Now Anthropology brands have always sold really well for me. These are trickier because it doesn't come right out and say Anthropology necessarily. So some different things that I've sold, I got this Natalie Lette Paris top and I sold it within a day um, for about $30, so that's crazy. I had no idea that it was even anything until I posted it, and I was like, wow, that sold really quickly. And then I also got this Kyla CO top at a dollar for a pound sale, and it sold in the 30s as well. So these are pretty good. Um, you can sell them even used in the 30s, which is great if you're looking at just a single top. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Also, comment down below if there's something else that you look for when you go thrifting to resell. We'd love to hear what things that you're looking for. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll catch you on the flip side.